Welcome back to the video lectures for Introduction to the Art of Programming using Scala. In this video we're going to talk about the last of the settings that we concern ourselves on the Graphics 2D, the transform. So up to this point, every time that I've talked about drawing things, we've been giving coordinates and we've said they were in pixels. Okay, the, the small little elements that are used in, in drawing things on the screen. It turns out that you don't have to draw things in the normal pixel coordinates. You're allowed to transform things. And you can set on a Graphics 2D the transform that is being used. So you just call set transform, and you pass it something called an affine transform. Now what it means for a transform to be affine is that it preserves parallel lines. So if you have, if you have two lines that are parallel before the affine transform, they will be parallel after the affine transform. And there are a set of things that you can do that are affine. For example, you can rotate. If you have two lines and they are parallel, if you rotate them, they're still parallel afterwards. You can scale them. So you can make them bigger or smaller. You can do this in either the x direction or the y direction or both. Um, you can shear them, uh, which pushes off to the side uh, the top or the bottom, the lines remain parallel. They might not be the same distance from each other afterwards, but that will, they stay parallel at least, so it's an affine transform. Um, and you can translate. So that's to just move things around to different locations. So we have our rotation, our scaling, our shearing, and are translating, and it turns out any combination of these is also an affine transformation. So how do we do this, and what impact does it have on our drawing? Probably one of the many ways this, this uh, ability to transform things is, is really powerful, and it's the type of thing that you would have a hard time doing without them actually giving you this feature. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy out or comment out our clip because I want to see the entire drawing and just so you can remember what it looks like. We'll come in here and see, okay. This is the drawing that we have. Uh, what I want to do is I want to apply a transform to Hello World. and I'm, So I'm going to put this right down here just before I draw Hello World. I am going to set the transform on our graphics object G. And what I want to do is I want to set it to, I intend to just do a rotation. Now there are lots of ways that we could get this. Uh, one way is to set the transform and give it an affine transform. I guess technically we can also just tell our uh, graphics 2D to rotate. And that might actually be a, a simpler way that alters the transform itself. But I'm going to go ahead and do this the, the longer way here so that you can see how it works. Let's make sure I have the name right for this. So I want to get a rotate instance. And you can get a rotate instance where you just pass it a theta value, in which case it rotates about 0, 0. Or you can give it a theta and have it rotate about uh, a given location. And I'm going to do that second one, so I'm going to pass in a, so get rotate instance, I pass it three arguments. First is the theta, I'll go with 45, and we're drawing our string at 0 and 50. Uh, the string is you know at least 100 across. So I'm actually going to rotate around the point 50-50. That'll be somewhere close to the, the middle of the string. And if we run this, OK, we get a hello world. Wow, that was actually extremely unfortunate. Let's, let's say I'm going to do a very, using 45 did not illustrate what I wanted to, to illustrate here. OK, uh, 10. Well, the question is 10 watts, and if you look at where this is located right now, this is clearly not rotated 10 degrees uh, from where it started off. Indeed, the rotation that you give it is in radians, so it just so happens that the 45 wound up being very close to uh, 
45 degrees, so it had wrapped around multiple times. So if I want this to be 45 degrees, I would say math dot pi uh, divided by 4 would give me a 45 degree rotation. And so this uh, allows us to you know, rotate things around. I could also then, after I do my rotation, I could then do a translate. And so let me, I am just going to mix my approaches here. So I'm then just going to translate it and I'm going to move it over by 100 pixels. I won't bother moving it down or up at all. And now we get the same hello world, but it has been uh, shifted over 100 pixels. Um, so that's how you can do transforms. I could have applied transforms to any of these objects. So if I want ellipses that are not axis aligned, so for example, if I want an, uh, an ellipse where its long axis is off at an angle, I could do that by applying a transform before I draw it, uh, rotate about the center point, and get it to, to whatever origin I want. Um, you know, there are all types of possibilities that I have with this. You should probably take some time and play with the different transforms and see what they do, see how you can, can make them do different things. Uh, but that's all that we're going to show for here. This gives you enough information to, to be able to do it yourself. And so at this point, kind of, you have a general idea of how to pretty much draw just about anything that you would want onto a basic panel. Uh, what you can't do though is yet is for example load in images. So if you were to go find images on the on the uh, the internet and you wanted to put them in your GUI, we haven't talked about how to do that. Uh, there are also some some other features. For example, the paint. We showed how to do plain colors and gradients, but I said we couldn't yet do the texture paint. And then we also have things like being able to click or follow the mouse. So we're going to have a few more videos that go through each of those topics. Uh, and we'll come back. You should play with writing GUIs that just draw things um, using the, the basic settings that we've talked about so far to make sure that you understand how it works and, and what impact everything has and that you, you really have a, a firm understanding.